What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Today, we are going to talk to you guys about fuel, meaning where to fuel your truck, how to fuel your truck, fuel prices, so on and so forth. Now, before we get into all the fuel stuff, we are going to talk to you guys about where you should park your truck, right? Yes. A lot of you guys, you know, probably have apartments or, you know, housing, like, you know, a regular house on a tight street and you don't know where to park your truck or you don't have anywhere to park your truck. We are going to talk to you guys about where to park your truck. Right. And the reason why we want to, as you come with us, the reason why we really want to elaborate on this today is, I'll be honest with you guys, one of my neighbors, I had it parked on the street just like I did at my old house. And he called the police. I came out to get in my car. And there was a big police sticker on there talking about violation, parking in the wrong area, you know, stuff like that. So yeah. don't be parking your truck uh, in a commercial. Uh, don't be parking a commercial vehicle in a space that is a residential area, right? Correct. Um, if you don't have a lot, if you don't have a truck stop in your area where you communicate with the owner of the truck stop or the people on the inside, then I suggest a big open space where it's a little less uh, of a hassle yeah. to the people in the area, right? So we chose a big area. I think it's a Fry's or Walmart or something like that. Yeah, and we parked a big, all a big the way. plaza. Yeah, yeah, big plaza, yeah. And we parked all the way on the corner, as you can see, completely out of the way mm -hmm. also in between the lines yep so we weren't disrespectful yeah we're taking up two spaces but we're right by this big tree you're not parking your your audi or your bands or whatever <laughs> you're driving your charger hellcat right you're not parking it by these trees and all that stuff so we're completely out of the way we're last easy access in yeah that's what i was just about to say you want to park um in a certain way where it's easy for you to get out of you don't want to park um, not like in enclosed spaces or something where you're going to get stuck. So yes, yes. we parked, like you said, like this, we took up two spots, but we're in a line. And so it's easy for us to just pull right on out instead of trying to like back up and, you know, struggling to get out. So you want to always park where it's real easy and convenient for you to just pull out. Cause this is not a regular car as you guys know. So it's more things you have to do to actually like turn to get out of the spot so right so most of the time as you guys know either before you park it or right before you start your shift you're going to do your pre-trip post-trip right and then you're most likely going to have to get some fuel so let's go get some fuel guys Up on that interstate, gotta run it up cause I need food up on my dinner plate Catch me on that interstate, try to run me up a bag If you ain't first then you last, gotta run it up and get that cash Catch me on that interstate, up on that interstate Catch me on that interstate, up on that interstate Catch me on that interstate, try to run me up a bag If you ain't first then you last, gotta run it up and get that cash Catch me on that interstate, gotta keep the business straight I got up at 3 in the morning, you got up at there we go. So, come on in. All right, y'all. As y'all can see. Let's get some uh, fuel. I know we mentioned it in that last video. Uh, this truck has two gas tanks. Yeah. Now, normally, I would recommend that you have your gloves, right? Definitely have your gloves. Yep, I don't think gloves. we have our gloves in the vehicle just no. now. Now, I'll tell you why you want to have your gloves. Number one, you don't want to be walking around smelling like diesel all day, right? Right. Number two, you don't, you just don't want diesel on you or your clothes on your skin, especially as much time as you're going to be filling up while you're on the road. Yep. Now, us, personally, um, we use the RTS fuel card. I'll tell you why. If you come in, look at these gas prices. Go ahead, let's see. Let's see these outrageous prices. You see? $4.49, almost $5 a gallon. Man. So with RTS, we're able to save a lot of money, um, a lot of cents per gallon. So with our RTS app, we came here because it's $3.88. So you see this says $4.49. And our RTS fuel card allows us to get this diesel for $3.88 per gallon. So that's exactly why we chose this gas station with RTS. They, they have multiple ways you can search for the nearest truck stop or you can search for the cheapest truck stop to get diesel. Also, in the past, we do use Gas Buddy as well. 
just to, just in case if you're in a dead area like Bat Battle Mountain, Nevada, you know, nobody heard of that. It's in the middle of nowhere at the top of Nevada. They have no truck stops there, so that's when Gas Buddy come into play where you can type in the city the city that you're in and then it'll pull up like mom and pop gas stations. We hear a lot about mud flap yeah. too. Mud flap. Nothing wrong with mud flap, use mud flap. Yep. And uh, you know, it'll pull up just the mom and pop gas stations for you to get diesel for, you know, a cheaper price instead of, you know, that four forty nine. <laughs> right, right, right. Now, um, so when you're pulling up, before you fuel, you wanna release the tank. Remember, make sure you got your gloves on. Fortunately I don't have mine on. Take this off. There's gonna be some air release a little bit, right? Yeah. Come around on the other side. Same thing for your rider truck, same thing for both sides. Exactly. As you can see over here, like we mentioned before, there's two gas tanks. So you're going to take it off on this one as well. Let that pressure release a little bit before you fuel. Yep. Um, and a truck like this, like we said, it does have two fuel tanks, only one def tank. Yep. The main gas, the main fuel line, whether you have one or two, the main fuel line is going to be where you swipe yep. your card at. All, yep, so always the side with the screen on it. Where, Absolutely. Yep, where you insert your card and stuff. Absolutely. So, as you can see, we're over here. I'll put my fuel card in. Now, you got to go through these prompts on the screen. It'll ask for your odometer number. It'll ask if you have a tractor or a reefer so, you, uh, so they can give you the correct gas. It'll ask if you want DEF, so diesel exhaust fluid. And, um, it also asks if you want to add, add extra products like buy def in the bottle at the gas station or whatever. So, you know, you just enter your stuff. It also ask for your driver ID, but that would be whatever you choose when you set up your fuel card with RTS or whoever you choose, but we recommend RTS. So take the handle up. This is important, y'all. Do not put def in a diesel tank. Please. <laughs> Please. Y'all don't want to put diesel in the def or def in the diesel. Do not. So I, 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 I'm clicking and said, what do you want? I'm like, def. Boom, I hit the def. I, I picked the regular pump up. I'm thinking whatever def is, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm thinking DEF about to start coming out instead of diesel. I go to the def tank because I see it says no diesel. Done. I'm like, okay, I click def. I look at the thing in. I'm like, I click def. This ain't diesel. <laughs> Boom. I done put two gallons of diesel. First off. The pump ain't even the same. It doesn't even fit in there. So, so they make it smaller than the uh, diesel one. So, you know, it's it makes it easier to not get it mixed up. So you would just stick it in here, stick it in a small hole. Um, come closer. If you can see, the hole is real small to fit the um, the nozzle in there. So, you know, you'll stick that in there. Never, ever put this in there. And never ever put diesel in here ever. You'll mess your whole truck up. Yeah, and if you do accidentally do it, don't you, start the yeah, vehicle. Do not start the vehicle and call. Um, if you rent it, call roadside, or if you own it, you know, find a nearby mechanic that could come by and drain the tanks out. You do not want to start it if you accidentally mix them up, because that'll mess up the whole truck and it's over with at that point. So I'm sitting there clicking it, trying to get it lined up, <laughs> like no. <laughs> I put two gallons in there. It took me about 10, 15 minutes to even get the two gallons in there. I took two gallons in there. <laughs> I don't know how I figured it out, but I just was like, something ain't right. Something ain't right. So I hang it up. I go inside <laughs> of the gas station. I'm like, I start asking them about death. They're like, you can't get death from that pump. That pump is, uh, that pump, death, the death doesn't even work. So I go out there. I'm like, what do you mean? I, I got death. I was able to get death. <laughs> I look at the under handle. I look, lift it up. There's like a little spot for another handle, but it's like a flap that covers it. I lift up the flap. I see that uh, <laughs> that is a caution stuff. So I'm like, oh, I done messed up. I done messed up. So I uh, start running around. He <laughs> ran into all the truckers uh, coming out of their truck like, hey, man, I think I'm putting this here. Yeah, I like, did. Uh, oh no, you messed up. The whole engine <laughs> <laughs> like, you didn't start it, did you? I'm like, no, I ain't started. Like, you're gonna get that drink. Yeah, they, these truckers, they've been on the road. You can tell they coming up to me, chewing their mouth, spitting the chew. You gonna have to get that drink. How'd you do that, man? How you do? Whose company? You do? I'm like, man. I'm, not, I'm, not. I'm, I'm embarrassed to say, I'm like, this is my company. It's my truck. So what are you gonna get? Like, type thing. Goes and gets like a fucking tube. A tube. And then a, tube. And then a bucket. Two so. buckets and a little empty tank. 
Yeah. This man put the tube inside of my death and got the sucking on the other <laughs> end. I mean, he's. <laughs> but I didn't he's sure. that. He did do that. He did. He's getting the. I ain't even on no no BS, y'all. He grabs. He puts the tube. He's putting it in my death. He's asking me, "How much you get?" It? I told you he got the tube. Like, "How much you get it?" I'm like, "I don't know." He gets to sucking it out. He's spitting, he's spitting out gasoline, diesel, chew, death, <laughs> ill, he's, <laughs> he's spitting all this out, why he, so he, then he, he put it in a tank. I, I never seen this done before anyway, so I'm like, I don't know how you able to, <laughs> I mean, two, three sucks, it's coming out of the tank now, so it's coming out of the tank, going into the thing. He had to, he had to re-suck a few times, he had to re-suck a few times. And then he said, uh, out of nowhere, he like, yeah, this, this is about a hundred every time I put my mouth no, on no, here. No, he was being funny. Yeah, he, I, didn't, I didn't laugh. That wasn't no, funny to me. No, he was being funny because he was like, how much is going to run me? He was like, well, I was looking. That's a hundred or something. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hey, like, every time I put my mouth on that, it's about a hundred. What are we at? About four or five hundred? I'm going to stick that all the way in there. I'm going to have wifey take you guys on the other side and begin filling the other side. All right, so come on, y'all. Let's go fill the other side up. You can feel both sides at the same time, so come over here. It's already open. With this side, you just lift it up, put it in. And then same thing, you got to flip up the, the flap and then start loading. Now, we're going to let this auto set by itself, like we're going to let it turn off by itself. And we'll show y'all what to do once it turns off. So let's head back to this side. I like to personally hold it sometimes, depending on the tank. Um, put it in there. It's going to start to rise. So when you have truck fuel, a fuel tank, it's not like a regular gas tank where you got a line coming from your, you know, where you put it in your truck or your car or whatever, and then it goes down to the fuel tank. This isn't like that. You're directly in the tank. So you're going to get fuel and you're going to, Feel, you're gonna wanna feel it all the way, all the way to the top, damn near to where it's almost coming out, right? Because I wanna show you, see how long this nose is? If you go in, look how far deep to the tank that goes. That goes basically about right here. So if you're right here and that's sideways, you still got all of this full of tank. So as you're fueling, you wanna pull out. So as you're fueling, you'll pull out, lightly press it, yeah, and be careful when you're pulling it out because you don't want to um, pull it too hard and then have a gas splash back on you. So you just got, yeah, you just got to hold it real lightly. Pulling up behind us. So mine is good. I'm going right, to have her bring go. you guys on the other side because I don't want to hang side. this up. Until that other side is all the way fueled. So. Yep, so let's show you the other yeah. side. And then like I said earlier, you can fill both sides at the same time, which is a real good, a major plus. So you can, you know, fuel and get up out of here. So same thing for this side. This side stop. You want to pull it out. And then, you know, just fill it to the top so you can see it, you know, pretty much at the brim of the fuel tank. So you just want to hold it lightly so a little could come out at a time. And then I, I'm extra, so I like to, uh, you know, fill it to, to where I can actually, like, see it look like it's about to come out. You know, I got to get my money's worth. You know, this 388, no telling when I'm going to see another <laughs> another truck stop with 388. Stop playing. Everything else almost $5. So you can see how you can see it coming up to the top right there. I just, you know, that's good enough, but like I said, I'm a little extra, so. Yeah, that's good. Just and like now that. that she's wrapping up and she's hanging hers up, I'm also gonna hang mine up. And what we always tell our drivers to do when they're driving for us, especially when you're driving with two tanks and you're able to go so far, um, go ahead and take your break, right? Depending on when you stop or if you need to get fuel or not, go ahead and take your break. So we'll pull up. You see over here, there's a lot of trucks parked and different truck parking. There's empty spaces back there. So you go ahead and pull up to one of these uh, spots back here 
and you'll go ahead and go off duty, break, take your 30 minute break or however long you need, yeah. go inside, maybe get you something to eat or find some cuisine in the area that you can walk to, use the restroom, etc. cetera. Um, before you take off, you want to take advantage of this. So you yeah. can use that. Always use this one. clean your windows too, every time you stop, so. This got the stick. This one's a little short. <laughs> But at, at uh, you know, the other truck stops, they have like the real long stick. Hands my gas already. <laughs> now, as you can see, we were forced to improvise. It might not be the cleanest, <laughs> but there's gonna be time where you might gotta pull up and you're dealing with something like this, where your window is just super, super messy. And at least you wanna get yourself together to be able to maybe run the, uh, Wash your fluid after you do this, yep. and at least have a cleaner enough windshield to maybe even at least get you to the next space where you'll have to something bigger to deal with. Definitely. So this is not gonna always happen though <laughs> with these short sticks, but normally at like a little Circle K or something they do have those. But you know, a like regular Pilot, uh, Flying J, you know, all of them they'll have like the Extendo. Yeah, we call it the Extendo. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, you guys. That pretty much wraps up this video on fueling. Um, truck prices are wild due to Ukraine Definitely. and the war situation and things like that. Uh, so make sure as dis as your dis as your di as you are dispatching or for your dispatcher is booking or you are getting booked for loads that should be around two. I'm gonna be honest here, as right now you should be aiming for a three dollar minimum, but at least two fifty or something like that. Yeah. Two dollars with fuel right now is just not as profitable. 215, yeah. 235, 250 plus around three is, is really good right now for the fuel. That way your drivers are able to do something or you as the oper owner operator is able to still, uh, still be in the green. Yeah, still be profitable, um, you know, with the fuel prices right now. So we did wanted to, we did want to make this video very informative for you guys. We hope we showed you some stuff that we made mistakes on in the beginning uh, with the dev, putting it in a diesel and then, uh, you know, not filling the tank up all the way. So we just wanted to make this for you guys because there's probably some people out there who still have issues with this. So yeah, y'all, we hope y'all enjoyed this little saucy diesel video. My hands smelling like it. I ain't got my gloves on, but yeah, you know, stay tuned for some upcoming content. Definitely. We're checking out the box. Checking out the box. I do want to say this one last thing too. As you guys know, we recommend RTS fuel car due to the amount of savings that we're able to get on uh, our fuel. So even with the truck, uh, with the fuel prices and everything, I mean, she just showed you guys we were able to get this for how much? 388. 388, and gas right now is 490 something, 499, I think it said. So you know we're saving over a dollar per gallon. I mean that's incredible, right? Uh, if you guys hit the link in the uh, description box, or if you guys see that number, my guy Chad Gresham, he can help you out when it comes to fuel. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, there's other options too. Whatever makes sense on you being out there to fuel your vehicle is going to be all the way good. So rather that is having a fuel card, maybe you get 5% back on your credit card, uh, you know, so that's five cents on every dollar. Does that make sense for you? If you, you know, if you're spending $100 on fuel and you're getting, you know, five times $105 back, does that make sense for you? So for us, the RTS fuel card for you local guys, get a local, uh, get a local, fuel card maybe that'll help you know pull up yeah, to the quick trips definitely. and the circle k's and things like that in your area and you're able to pull up to these little pumps where you're where as long as it has clearance you yeah. can go get diesel from over there as long as it's ultra sulfur number two so we usually go to truck stops and we usually you know rts fuel cars only work for truck stops yep. and so that's the that's the option that we're going uh, that's how I wanted to end it, guys. As you guys know, we're trucking out the box. Love you guys. Trucking out the Continue box. Continue to support the channel. Like, subscribe, comment, and then watch again. Thank we you. Out. We out. They're going to try to tag along because they see that we winning. Brody pulling out the lot. And he got a load. About to hit that road truck out the box. If you hit that number, we going to pull up to your spot. They bring them in. We hit that road. Let's get this grow. Trucking out the box. Trucking out the box. I've been trucking out the box. I've been trucking out the box. They be asking me all the time how I get the guac. I've been trucking out the box. Yeah, trucking out the box. I've been trucking out the box.